Man, I'm, I'm feeling great. Again, like I've, I fought the Apex most of my UFC career, so like I just coming back home. That's what it feels like to me. So super excited. Like fight week usually rolls in the way it rolls in, you know, cutting weight, doing all that stuff, you know, always sucks. But the fact that the UFC makes it easy for us, you know, is it's, it's a blessing. So like it's more like ha like more happy. I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. And also too, like once that flip switches, man, I'm in kill mode. Man, that, that experience was really, was really dope, really cool. Uh, again, like I'd kind of been saying it all camp, like going and training with them is kind of like re, like re amped my, my love for fight. Like it just made it, like just being around high level people who have like this work ethic and like consistently looking to get better and being around a lot of high level people with the same mindset, you know, it was really cool, really dope. And then also too, like they're like some of the nicest people out there like again that makes it so much easier to do things like man like uh they're just so nice that that's that's also the biggest part too that i like training with them because like they're so nice they're high level and then also at the same time they all have the same type of mindset like we're gonna go to the gym we're gonna get better so i love that it just like kind of re react my love for the game like, being around those people that just have that like like that never die mindset like we're not stopping like like their work ethic, just being around again, like like-minded people that just want to consistently get better, man. It just, it just, it vibes in the room. Like the room, when you get in there, happy, joyous, but then like you get to the work, man, it's a, like, I'm killing somebody mindset. Like it's, but then that switch can be turned off right after you're done. And like, and I love that. Cause again, like we all kind of stayed, stayed in one house and just being there and just like, it was like a family. I know for me, I kind of have a little bit of a social anxiety. So I was kind of, I stayed back a little bit. So it was like, uh, for me, like it, it was a little bit harder to like, uh, to fully get in the mix. But even the times I was like, got in the mix, like I just felt like I was home. Like, again, I kind of have gotten away from it. I got away from it. And like, again, I got too comfortable. But again, being around even the champ, like the champ, Alexa, like she, she doesn't, there was no sense of her being comfortable in there. And that's how I got in 2023. I got way too comfortable. But even as the champ, she, no, she's still working, still working hard, like in in the gym grinding. So it was like, that made me look at a lot of things different. Like she's the champ and like, she's not taking her foot off the gas whatsoever. So it, it kind of just really, it really helped like get my mindset be like, oh, okay. And then at the same time, like being in the gym where you got murals of uh, Brandon, Brandon Moreno going there and fighting, Again, he was never the guy that got comfortable. He came back from adversity, you know, and consistently was trying to get back in there. He never stopped, like he wanted to get better. Every single fight, he just went out there and tried to get better, better his technique. And even at the same time, Diego, if people, like a lot of people don't know his story, like that guy's story is like one of those things that like it, it's inspiring. And like, again, even right now, like he's being around a guy who's just naturally just hungry and wants to keep going. like that also helps build and it like helps help me kind of revitalize because again i'm seeing it and i'm like oh shit i got i got like i i gotta get going i gotta get to work i see that he's gonna leave wide openings and i'm gonna take massive advantage over it i feel i again i just gotta stay tight gotta stay technical and in, and in words of a good friend look way my back it, the the win is just a good solid win like a finished win is just honestly just gonna excel that mindset that i have already Again, like I'm in kill mode. Like I want to, like I really want to put a hurting on this guy. There's nothing against this guy, you know. It, it is what it is. He put his name on the contract. For me, it's just more like I'm, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna finish him. Then after this fight, because again, I just got done talking to the broadcast team and I just told him like, I'm not gonna be happy after this fight. I want to be happy. I was like, but I'm not. It's like I, I want a number next to my name. I want something that I can solidify myself as one of the best. Because at the my end goal at the end of the day is, is to hold the belt. And I, I just want to show them the vintage Adrian Yanez. Yanez, my bad. I, I got to get used to saying it myself too, but I want to show them a good vintage Adrian Yanez. You know, the Mexican root, the father who came from a military background, uh, you know, so came from a fighting family. So for me, I want to go out there and show them who I am. Adrian Yanez, aquí estamos. Mira pelea, mi pelea. Este sábado, voy a matar.